The Securities and Exchange Commission has increased penalties by 900% for companies failing to file reports on time. Following the SEC amnesty program aimed at allowing corporations to settle fines at a reduced cost for non-compliance with reporting requirements. Now we know that in the past fines have not done much and that these criminals deserve jail time. However, seeing the SEC take steps forward, even baby steps, by increasing penalties by 900%, stating penalties in particular, the way I'm reading this, not necessarily fines, is a good thing. Now we're seeing short interest rise to crazy highs at 17.6% according to Ortex on AMC, and this is just what is reported. Back when it was around 8%, 7%, we knew it was much higher. The float sold time and time again. And now you're seeing more than double that at 17.6% according to Ortex with almost 50 million shares shorted. Not only that, but the numbers are disgusting and we're gonna get into that in one second. But first, let's touch on the charts really quick. AMC is down another 2.9%, making an all-time low under $3, coming down to $2.95, aka $0.29 cents or $0.30 cents where it's trading at right now before the split, right? Not a good thing to see. The lowest before was $1.91. Now we're technically at $0.30. Cents. When is this going to end? Well, again, this is exactly what we expected, this chop trade to the downside before making a low, and I think it's coming very, very soon. You're going to see maybe a week, maybe two, maybe three weeks of this going to the downside before we bottom out. So just expect that. But GameStop, on the other hand, is a little bit different, and I'm going to explain why I am entering calls for GameStop. But real quick, take a look at how disgusting the short exempt volume is. We saw yesterday that it was at 1.7 million for a single day for short exempt volume, and it followed up with 711 thousand and then before these days it was almost nine hundred thousand and then almost three hundred back to back to back for three days so this comes out over four million in short exempts in just one week alone and take a look at the stock price of course you see this nasty sell-off none of this is, a, is legit retail isn't selling off and the short interest also isn't legit it's much higher than this looking at the options chain really quick all this premium is going to market makers if you bet calls on this week that was probably the worst decision uh, that you could have made unless you made it a long time ago you couldn't have seen any of this coming but just be aware that you're feeding mark makers this money one thing i wanted to note before we touch on gamestop is ethereum classic beautifully held this level right down here at the bottom of this demand zone so that's a good thing to see as of right now and we do have to get into crypto later on in the video now gamestop and if you guys haven't yet i didn't ask because i didn't want to make an intro and i didn't want to waste your time please hit the like button it supports the channel and it's free gamestop bottomed out right at the bottom of this channel that we had drawn out at 11 dollars beautiful stop right here and every single time GameStop comes down to these channels it has a nice little reversal temporarily for about a week now this could not happen and I just want to prep you for that if this doesn't happen GameStop is coming all the way down to this trend line before getting a bounce which is around nine dollars and seventy cents and then getting that slight bounce so just be aware of that either way I think GameStop is at a good spot for a temporary bounce but it will still go lower than $11 over the next month. And that is exactly what I see right now. So AMC is going to slightly sell off further than where it's at, as well as GameStop before mooning higher or having a chance to. We look at the option chain, all this premium going to market makers, and you're getting a little bit of gamma to the downside for GameStop as well as AMC. Short exempts not as bad for GameStop, but again, way less volume over here than AMC as well. Now, we told you to keep a side eye on a couple of plays the other day. Keep a side eye on Volkswagen because Volkswagen is curling up. And I think this one could make some moves over the next few months while everything is in sort of this bull market that we have. And that's something that we're going to talk about coming into the overall market. A few things before that. AMC also had an order imbalance of 82,674 shares on the buy side. And yesterday it was over 800,000, even with the sell off. So that's interesting to note. March ADP non farm payrolls came out today, risen by 184,000, estimated 148 and previously 140, which is the most since July of 2023. You're seeing slight green in the market, up 0.36%, bounced beautifully off this aggressive ascending support trend line right here. Coming up, watch for a potential re rejection at 529.90 for the top of the day. 
but I think the SPY still is not out of momentum. Again, we need to see a break first under this trend line, and then you need to see a second break. So we have a few levels of support for the overall market, and then you need to see a ton of indicators line up that we are entering a bear market. Overall, slight correction could be around the corner, and that could be being indicated by crypto. Some things that may also negatively affect the market is war. 30 Chinese warplanes and nine Navy SEAL vessels have positioned around Taiwan, according to Taiwan's defense ministry. And Iran is potentially about to attack Israel in the next 48 hours. So pray for everybody that is involving themselves in the war. Pray that this ends. And if we look at Tesla, Tesla got a bounce off this descending support trend line that got a few bounces back here as well. One, two, three, slightly sold off under here, four, and you're getting that kind of hold right here, right? This could be a little bit more solid so you guys see the support easier. Overall, as of right now, got a nice decent bounce up 1.22%. Still looks weak in the charts. Looks like Tesla will break lower into this zone under 155. That is next. Speaking of breaking lower, Apple broke below the 618 on the FIB, but it didn't get a full candle close. It's still testing this as resistance. Overall, watch for confirmation once Tesla gets a clean break under 168.50 and a full candle close under that to come even lower. Now, we need to talk about crypto, but before we talk about crypto, I want to take a quick break to tell you about Moomoo. It's in the it's the very top link under the video and I'll leave it in the comments for you guys so you can find it. Once you press that link, open a broker through Moomoo and deposit into there like you would Webull or Robinhood, they're going to start giving you a ton of benefits. Not only free stocks, not only interest on your money that you're not investing at the time, but also level two order book data for free, access to trading options, going long, going short, a customizable earnings calendar, and honestly, just a beautiful platform to use all for free. So use that link, sign up for Moomoo, and make a deposit. It takes two minutes out of your day, and if you've done it already, tell a family member to come over, get in the description, and do it themselves or a friend. And if you're in the Discord, tell a friend to get in the Discord because the link is right under the video as well, under the Moomoo link. I'm in there on the daily. Come talk stocks with me. If you have any questions, there are no bad questions. Whether you're a beginner or advanced trader, this is the place to go. We also have options, trading alerts in there. We post our gains, post our losses, talk stocks as well as crypto, and it's the best vibes. So get in the Discord, get your free stocks from Moomoo. And now let's take a look at crypto. This is the previous cycle that Bitcoin would technically play out if it was going to do the same and it's been doing slightly similar. With that being said, we're seeing a bounce off of 64,500, bringing us right up to about 81,000, 82,000 before retracing back to 70 at that support and topping out around 85. Now, <clears throat> this is just some potential. This does not have to happen. Even if it doesn't happen, I don't think Bitcoin is done because it has not come directly in this zone that that we are waiting for it to come to. So I think Bitcoin has to come at least to around 78,000 minimum before calling this over, this bull rally over. So I still am accumulating this right here. And once Bitcoin makes its neck leg up or right before that, you may see a bunch of alts have a large move. So if you're not accumulating, you may be missing out on a big money making opportunity. Now Doge, if it played out the previous cycle, this is something you could see as well, coming down to test this FIB at 16 cents, potentially bottoming, bottoming at 14 before scaling back higher around 32 to 34 cents. So this again, just one possibility for Doge. I did add more Doge as well. Let me know if you guys are letting go of your crypto or you're adding, accumulating, or you're just holding. Let me know in the comments down below. Finally, US government sends over 30,170 Bitcoin worth $2 billion to Coinbase using Silk Road hack funds. Again, you pay attention to what they are doing, not what they are saying, and it shows that the Bitcoin rally isn't over. Now, Coinbase also goes big on Bitcoin, partnering with LightSpark to integrate a Bitcoin Lightning network. And finally, Ethereum ETF approval. The SEC just asked for public comment for Grayscale, Bitwise, and Fidelity spot Ethereum ETFs. Now, this doesn't mean they're going to accept it. However, this doesn't mean they are going to decline Ethereum ETFs. It just means that the answer is closer. And it's probably going to be end of April, early May for the SEC to say that Ethereum ETFs are going to be approved or denied. So that is what I got for you guys for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe, have post notifications on. I love you all. Lottery socks out.